from them. And what we're looking at, and this I, I don't think people have cottoned on to yet, this isn't just a catastrophe for Canada. We are looking at a global planetary catastrophe. And the reason is that what's burning, uh, mostly what's burning, is the boreal forest. Now, um, uh, humanity and most of life with um, uh, greenhouse gas pollution, um, the, um, the big forests are the only thing that's stopping us um, being snuffed out very quickly indeed. The boreal is a fabulous, fabulous uh, ecosystem. It's massive, it goes, it's a subarctic, um, huge forest. Um, it's, it's way bigger than the Amazon. It contains way much carbon than the Amazon. It's our total lifeline. The reason why it's our lifeline is that we have lost the carbon sink of the tropical forest. The Amazon isn't sinking any amount of carbon and it's putting out quite a lot. And the uh, tropical forests in general, this research has been going on for several years and it always comes back the same thing. Um, they're not effective carbon sinks anymore. So the only carbon sink that we have, and the carbon sinks, of course, you may know, they, um, um, they uh, remove about 50% of our emissions, so to speak. And we can roughly divide that between uh, the oceans and the forests equally. So the, um, the terrestrial carbon sinks, the big forests, actually are supposed to be sinking about 30% of our emissions. So if those sinks start failing, and they have started, then in addition to our own um, uh, um, absolutely insane, crazy, continued uh, carbon dioxide emissions, um, the atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration, which I follow very closely, of course, um, uh, that will be boosted, that'll go up even faster. 